that? Kowalski and Ferretti, yes. They were under your command on the first Stargate mission. Tell me about Daniel Jackson, Colonel. Why are they questioning my men? They're not your men anymore, Colonel. You're retired. Daniel Jackson? You read the report? Yes. It's all there. Is it? What's this all about, General? You didn't like Daniel Jackson, did you? Daniel was a scientist. He sneezed a lot. Basically, he was a geek, sir. So you didn't have a lot of time for him? I didn't say that. He also saved my life and found the way home for my men and me. A little thing like that kind of makes a person grow on you. Know what I mean? According to the mission brief, your orders were to go through the Stargate to detect any possible threat to Earth, and if found, to detonate a nuclear device and destroy the gate on the other side. Yes. But that's not what you did, is it? Not right away. Ra's forces overpowered my team and took the weapon before I could arm it. But with Dr. Jackson's help, you eventually regained control and did, in fact, detonate the weapon, yes? Yes. So the best of your knowledge, Daniel Jackson and everyone else you knew on Abydos is dead, correct? That's correct. Good. Then you won't mind if I authorize a go-ahead on our plan. This quartz material the Stargates are made of. It must be tough stuff if it can withstand a Mark III. Well, we sent a robot probe through after we got back, sir. It was flattened on the other end. Obviously, the Abido Stargate had been buried in the rubble. Well, somehow it got unburied. this time. If these creatures did reopen the Abydos Gate, we intend to reseal it for good. General, you can't do that. Countdown's already started. Unless you have something to add. General Hammond, sir. I regret to inform you that my report was not entirely accurate. You didn't detonate the bomb. No, I did detonate the bomb, sir, and it was aboard Ra's spacecraft, so it did kill him and eliminate the risk to Earth. However... However... Ra's ship was in orbit above the planet at the time. Neither the gate nor anything else on the planet was destroyed. Daniel Jackson is alive and living with the people on Abydos. You violated direct orders. Why? Because the people of Abydos are no threat to us. They deserve to be left alone. That's not up to you. With all due respect, sir, if I'd come back here and reported the gate on the other side was still intact, we would have sent another bomb, just like you were about to. It wasn't necessary to let those people die. The threat from Ra was gone. What about the probe we sent through? It was crushed instantly. After we came home, Daniel buried the gate in rocks, making my return or anybody else's Impossible. Well, those four bodies lying in the infirmary say otherwise, Airman. We'll send the bomb through on schedule. General, you can't do that. Oh, I can't? There are innocent people on that planet. There are innocent people here. I have my orders too, Colonel. I obey mine. Take Colonel O'Neill to the holding room. Let's give him some time to think about things while I decide what to do with him. Sergeant.